hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know i've made you guys wait so long but if you're interested in achieving this look then make sure that you continue to watch and do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any comments please comment below thank you Yo, 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 you know what it is, baby. It's the movie brother DJ Frosty. Right now, you tuned in. You checking out my movie brother DJ CK. You already know, baby. CK, turn it up, baby. You already know. Movie brother.
So these are the lashes that I got online and I have used two pairs so far as you guys can see um, but I prefer this pair I got these at um, Amazon I can leave the link below um, but yeah I prefer these so these are what we're gonna put on okay guys so I've already applied one lash so you guys can see that it is still drying so if there's a glue on it I'm sorry um, but yep, I've already applied one lash and we're going to try to apply the other lash in frame or in camera so you guys can see. I'm not really good at this. Um, so hopefully I can do it. Like I need the camera to be, I mean, my mirror to be like right here in order for me to, to do it. But I'm going to see if I can do it. I'm going to turn this way. Like I need to be able to see. see how this one is already up it's like they look different and we don't need that so I'm trying to do it so you guys can see but this is very tricky just don't know if they're even because sometimes if they're not even what happen what will happen is <laughs> you'll have one eye that looks bigger than the other eye and yeah I think that's what's happening right now and I don't need that I don't need those type of problems Tell y'all, like, I don't have OCD, but I got OCD in a certain type of way. So, so now we're gonna start off with the um, primers. So, I use a poreless primer because my pores can sometimes look a little bit big. So, we're gonna start off with using that. Get in there. 
here so for like the last couple days i have been trying to do um just primers under my skin because i have like extremely oily skin so i've been trying to do primers and moisturizers under my skin to see if i can go all day without my skin being extremely oily so the first time i actually did it was yesterday at work and i have to say it was not bad um i do block my face like a lot like that and when i looked at like the back of my hand i didn't see like a lot of the product on the back of my hand like i normally see so i can say that it actually kind of worked just a little bit so yeah so we're gonna try it again today um i have been using the elf moisturizer um i think it was like six or eight bucks at uh alta i think it was on sale too so y'all know i love a sale so i got a steal on it um however i do like it from like what i've seen so far like i do kind of like it a lot so <laughs> and it smells so delicious so oh gosh like it just smells amazing <coughs> so i'm putting the moisturizer all in my t-zone because that's where i get like super oily and then i have read something where a chick was saying that a lot of times people who have oily skin it produces a lot of oil because um your skin is not moisturized so it's trying to you know recoup or whatever okay so now we're gonna go in with this la girl pro conceal um in orange i always thought it was red but when i read the back of it it says orange so we're gonna go in with that under my eyes I mean, I don't really have too bad of, like, dark circles, but I kind of like to, you know, cover them up, you know. So, and I always do it, like, in the corners of the mouth, because sometimes I can get, like, a little bit dark over there. We don't need those problems. Okay, so now we're going to blend that in, you know. And I'm sorry, guys, I say, okay, so a lot. I'm kind of feeling my eyes a little bit. Like, I like that little sparkle, the little shimmer there. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Okay, so now we're going in with this LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Um, I really like this foundation. I started wearing it maybe like a couple months ago. I usually use the shade Nutmeg, but because it is summer, we're going to go up a shade, a little bit darker, or is it down a shade? Whatever. We're going to go a little bit darker, um, and of course, I bought the one where the pump is broke, so I have to unwind it kind of like this and be extremely careful and put this on my face like a little ghetto way, so... That's what we're getting ready to do. Put that there. Okay. Now we're going to go in and blend. I'm trying to think of what brush I usually use. I forgot that quickly. It was that quick that I forgot. Okay, so these are my Makeup Chamber brushes. Um, there is a group on Facebook and on Instagram. I believe it is called The Makeup Chamber. Um, and I use all of their brushes. I love them. Absolutely love them. So, we're just going to blend that out.
Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with that LA Girl Pro Conceal, the concealer. And this is in the shade Fawn. Um, so we're gonna go in with that. And we're gonna use this to highlight now. So boom, 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 boom. tweezers I'm gonna put my contour on my tweezers so it's like down here that okay and then we're just gonna take this down the tip of my nose and that is how far I should do my contour because I don't know any other way I mean I do but it just never comes out the way that I envisioned um, now we're going to take the contour stick and we're going to move down my cheek. Um, with the contour, you guys can use the stick. You guys can do, use whatever you feel comfortable with. I personally use a stick because I feel like I have better control. Um, but do whatever works for you, mama. Okay, so now we're going to contour. Just brush, yes. Yeah. Blend all that out. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna set it with some powder. This is the Makeup Revolution powder that I am using. I usually mix the translucent, uh, translucent, the translucent uh, powder with the, I think it's, I'm trying to think of what it is. It's not the terracotta, it's the, it's the other one. I don't know. I can't remember the name, but I'll try to list it below so you guys can see what I used. I like to put it on the side too, like where I contoured, because this will create that dimension of a smaller nose so yeah
you know I like it to be real contour, honey. I like them cheekbones to be up in that thing. Mm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go in a little bit more and cut that off a little slice it. Slice and dice around here. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with like um this is just like something I got from like the drugstore. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna lift line. Now because I'm brown skin, I have a hard time um having like brown lip liner show up on me so that's why you guys will see me use like darker ones but we're gonna try this brown a day see if it comes through full system yeah see it just don't show up don't show up the way I need it to so we're gonna go in with this brown Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some blush. I can find it. Blush, blush, blush. Now we're gonna highlight my loves. The very last step that we're going to do is we're gonna just um, spray it with this Morphe spray. And I said, well, 
that, that is it, honey child. Boo boo. That's that's the look, baby. What's that? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>